Hello everyone. Good morning. My name is Pepper, a humanoid robot designed to speak just like you. On behalf of the board, management and staff of Stanbic IBTC, it is our pleasure to welcome you all to the first panel discussion session hosted by Stanbic IBTC themed. Investment, let nothing stop you on your way to prosperity. At Stanbic IBTC, we believe it can be. That is, no matter what your dreams are, they can be achieved and we are here to enable you achieve them no matter what. At this session, you will be learning the various and simple ways of earning wealth through investments, even with minimal funds. We have on ground, experts from banking, asset management, stockbroking and pension. The session promises to be enlightening and insightful. At the end of the session, you can come and take a selfie with us at the Standard IBTC Exhibition booth. Sit back and enjoy. Hello everyone. Good morning. My name is Pepper. Um, a round of applause for Pepe. Please, can we appreciate Pepe? Aside from the fact that she gave a fantastic speech, she was very expensive to make. Very important. All right, um, without further ado, I would like us to get straight into it. I would like to invite our panelists for today. Um, these are highly seasoned professionals in investments. Like Pepe said, uh, the topic for this particular panel session is investments. Let nothing stop you on your way to prosperity. To shed more light on this particular topic, um, it's my singular pleasure to invite Wale Adeniyi, who is the Chief Executive Officer of Stambik IBTC Bank PLC and is responsible for driving the institution strategy across her technology, digital transformation, corporate and investment banking arm, and retail banking arm. He holds a first class degree in business administration from the University of Benin, my alma mater. Do we have Uniben people here? Yes. Yeah, so. And also, he, holds an, he has an MBA in business administration from the University of Manchester. Please, one more time, let's appreciate Wale Adeni. Thank you, sir, for being here. Um, up next is the trailblazer, Wumi Ehis Uzanabo. Wumi is the executive director responsible for operations at Stambik IBTC Asset Management Limited and the head digital and e-commerce for consumer and high net worth clients at Stambik IBTC. She is an astute investor focusing on traditional asset classes and low risk alternative classes. Wumi has a first degree in accounting from Babcock University. Do we have alumni of Babcock here? Yeah, and an MBA from Lagos Business School. Please, one more time, let's appreciate Wumi. We're glad to have you. Up next is John Oku Elewe. John Oku Elewe is the head micro pension unit at Stambik IBTC Pension Managers Limited and he's responsible for delivering business strategy on pension for micro and small enterprises, self-employed individuals, and broadly the informal sector in Nigeria. He's an alumnus of the University of Lagos. Do we have them here? Aha! Your village people, they're clapping. All right. And um, yeah, alumnus of University of Lagos, industrial relations and personnel, ma personnel department, and holds a Master of Business Administration MBA degree from the Business School, Netherlands. He's married with two sons. Sorry, ladies. He loves to swim, play eight ball, pool, or tennis. He's so good at tennis that um, he trained Roger Federer uh, for his last uh, championship. Please, let's appreciate John. And of course, we have the very amazing Bumi Olari Noye. Bumi Olari Noye is an executive director at Stambik IBTC Stockbrokers Limited a wholly owned stockbroking subsidiary of Stambik IBTC Holdings PLC and a member of the Standard Bank Group. She's a graduate of accounting and holds an MBA from the IE University, Spain. She's a fellow of the Chartered Institute of Stockbrokers as well as a Chartered Accountant. Ladies and gentlemen, please, one more time, let's appreciate Bumi or Larry Noye. All right. Um, 
We intend this session to be as interactive as possible. So at intervals, um, would also engage with you and would also engage with some of the products of our bank, Stambic IBTC Bank. But without further ado, I'll start off with Wale. So uh, the topic is let nothing stop you on your way to prosperity. And as a creative, personally, I don't know if there are other creatives here. I'm sure that there are lots of creatives here. I sometimes still struggle with my finances. You know, I'm still on that journey to financial freedom. So what is Stambic IBTC doing to make sure that small and medium enterprises uh, like my company and individuals in other sectors um, actually make their way to prosperity? Okay, thank you. You've had a very amazing question, and I think that's what we do at Standic IBTC. And uh, maybe I'll just give you some snippets of some of these things, because um, the first one I will say is that recently in December, there was um, a KPMG, what they call customer experience survey. And um, that survey is done now for 19 years, and. Um, We've, um, we've been part of it, and in most cases, we are always in the top, top three. Sometimes we went to like top six, but re last year, we actually were declared number one, you know, and this was based on customer feedback. And it says that when it comes to SME in Nigeria today, we are the number one bank from the experience that we give our clients when it comes to SME. So that just tells you a lot. And when you, do, when you look at that survey, it doesn't talk about just um, the experience in terms of customer satisfaction. You talk about all the range of things we do, and that's what actually made us number one. But I can tell you some of the things we do that make us, that help improve that journey for SMEs. Number one, it's, and for SMEs, it's about supporting them when it comes to funding their business. So we provide them on collateralized credit funding in spontaneous, flexible, quick that, you know, to support their working capital needs immediately. And this is actually done, you know, within f some few days and few hours in some cases. And uh, in addition, when you talk of digital lending, we, we look at the, you can do that actually, if you don't want to go through the paperwork, you can go to apply through the mobile, through the internet banking, and within five minutes, you actually get this boss credit. So, so, so we, from a funding perspective, we support them. There are many other things we do. For instance, we organize clinics. We organize uh, uh, capacity building. And actually, tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken, we are going to have a master class where we are going to actually showcase some of those things we do. So yeah. we organize this clinic in conjunction with Faith Foundation. Some of them we organize with Lagos Business School. And we take them through a lot of developmental classes where they can grow their business. So we do that. In addition, we, we offer them access to government intervention funds, which are actually at cheaper rate. Whether you talk of CAC, whether you talk of uh, RSSF, and some other of these other intervention funds we provide for them as well. When it comes to SME, we talk of our trade advisory services. We have, you know, most SMEs also import from, 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 from uh, import a lot, and yeah. some of them from China. We have what they call African China um, um, program, whereby these SMEs, we, we, we call it ACAP, Africa China Acquisition, Agent Acquisition Program, where we, we give them access to import and export advisory and two partners across. So we have many things we do for SMEs that actually, you know, I, the, the summary I would say is that that survey outcome of that from KPMG just yeah. shows, and I can go on and on, I can I, reel I can on tell. many things, <laughs> but, but these are things we do to support SME, and we get them growing and get them on their way to prosperity. Amazing. Thank you so much. I think a round of applause. Okay, the, you've mentioned so many products. Um, right after this session, if you are very interested in any of the products and all the, any of the services that he just mentioned, uh, you can meet... Um, any of our people at the stand, all right? So, Bumi, I'm going to get to you now. Um, Wale has spoken very extensively 
on what Stambic IBTC Bank is doing to empower small businesses. But when you talk about investments, you know, we start hearing things like stocks, start hearing bonds. Um, for some people, uh, it's, it's, it's a bit alien to them in the sense that, you know, they've never actually bought a stock or traded a stock. They don't even know what a bond is. So let's assume that I don't know anything about stocks and bonds. Can you throw more light on what stock broken really is? Hello. Okay. Thank you very much, John. It's a great opportunity to be here to speak about stock broking. So when you talk about stock broking, it's simply a service provided by a stock broker, um, which gives um, investors the opportunity to buy and sell stocks and other financial instruments listed on, a, on an exchange. So the common one here is the Nigerian Stock Exchange, which is, which is the major exchange we have in Nigeria. So when you talk, we call it stock broking because the major thing traded is stocks. But like I said, you have bonds, you have ETF, you have so many other financial instruments. So as, when you buy stocks, it gives you opportunity to be a part owner of a company. You, are having, you have like um, voting rights. You, have, um, you can share in the profits of the organization once they decide to pay dividends. You can attend their AGM. So no matter um, how little or how small you invest in the stock market, then you are becoming a part owner of that particular company. So that's simply stock broking. You, you engage the services of a stock broker to enable you invest on the floor of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Okay, just to follow up to that, yeah? Let's assume I have 50,000 Naira. What can 50,000 Naira do for me, to So be much. There's so much that I can do. That the, the, the thing is that when you look at the prices of stocks, it depends on what category of uh, maybe where your investment horizon or where your investment plan is. So there are stocks that go as low as 50 Kobo. There are some as one, low as 1 Naira and some as high as, as, high as 1,000 Naira. So it depends on you and what you want to invest in. So if you have 50,000, you don't even need up to 50,000 Naira to trade in the stock market. As long as you have money, you can say, okay, I have 1,000 Naira today, I want to put in the stock market. And then as you go along, you can build it up. So 50,000 is a lot of money to put in the stock market. Okay, okay. Um, I don't know if any of you ever tried to like, have, uh, invest money in like, a quick scheme, like MMM. How many people were affected by MMM? <laughs> Please, I, I, don't know, I don't know about you, but I was affected because I wanted to put 10 Naira and I wanted to get 50 Naira, you know, overnight. Yeah, um, and then for some people with higher risk appetites, they invested like a, like some people, I know somebody that invested like 10 million in MMM and that 10 million just, you know. So uh, I'll direct this question to um, John. Oh, no, no, I think I, I'll, 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 I'll direct the question to Wumi as opposed to John. John is the pensions guy. So Wumi, can you help us understand what risk appetite is? and how individuals can actually assess their risk appetite and how that would affect their investments in terms of the assets they want to acquire and you know maybe the stocks they want to buy and all of that okay so thank you Iro. good morning everyone um, really a pleasure to be here um, risk appetite simply means your appetite for risk <laughs> um, if you think about it um, food is a very good one to use as a proxy just to bring it down um, so it just means to what extent you are able to onboard the risk. Uh, if you think about a li your life's journey, um, depending on where we are, our appetite for risk will vary. So for instance, if you are working, like I am, and you have an active source of income, it may mean that on your investment side, you may be willing to take some risk because you know that worst case scenario, your salary would cover you. Um, if you if you're still very young and your outlook for your career or your life, you still have many years ahead of you to make a lot of money, it may suggest that you will be more comfortable taking some risk today. If perhaps you are older and you're closer to retirement, you're probably thinking about living your life on perhaps that passive income. So your appetite may not necessarily be the same. So it sim simply, as, uh, it's so simple. Um, how much risk can you onboard? Um, a number of things will continue to impact that um, position. It's not a static position. But I also am aware that by nature and our personality, some people just like to take risk. Um, you'll see a number of people who are entrepreneurial in nature. They don't mind going ahead to take some of those risks. So our personalities, our outlook, our biases, our experience. So for instance, I grew up in a home where my mom did a lot of business and I saw 
how volatile business can be. And I knew I wasn't going to go into business. I knew I was just going to pursue a career. Um, so all of those things would have an impact and it would be expressed in different forms as we make decisions around the investment. Thank you. Amazing. Um, you just said uh, that risk appetite depends on age. Um, it also depends on personality. So you could be old, but your personality allows you to you know, get into uh, certain transactions and investments that has higher risk. Um, so I think I'm going to direct this question now to Bumi before I get to John. Yeah? Um, I was watching one of your sessions, and then you said that for older people, they are more comfortable investing in bonds. And you know, um, for younger people, they want to just sort of go in and just invest in stocks. So can you just sort of clarify the difference between the bond and you know, the stocks? And also sort of let's, let's mirror both of them and see the difference when you factor in the age and like Wumi said, the personality of the individual trying to invest at that point in time. So thank you for that question. So for stocks, um, typically you say it's more risky than bonds. Uh, reason being that for bonds, especially if you invest in federal government bonds, they kind of pay what we call coupons. And coupons are like interest. And they pay like a, um, on, an, on a regular basis. It can be on a six month basis, can be on an annual basis, can be on a quarterly basis. But the common one here is on a six month basis. And so what we advise is that as um, you grow older, like Rumi said, and your risk appetite is kind of lowering, or maybe your source of income is not as um, uh, regular as it used to be. It's better to invest in something that you know is kind of um, um, consistent. You have a steady stream of income. Because every six months, if you invest in the federal government bonds, you know that every six months you are going to get a particular amount in terms of coupon, which is the interest, depending on how much you've invested in. So let's say you invest in a, um, in a bond of like seven years. You know that for the next seven years, you are going to be steadily getting a, so a stream of income every six months. And at the end of seven years, you're going to get by your capital. So which is not the case for stocks. Stocks, there's a bit of risk, which, is, which we say that, it, which is why we say it's good for the younger and the uh, people that still have a job and you have other, um, other uh, means of income. But it's not as if it's not also good for the older, older generation. But what we are saying is that it has that element of risk because you can't predict, you know, it can be, um, the stock market is, um, you can link it directly to the economy. So if the economy doesn't do well, which you don't have control over, and maybe companies are not able to declare profits, and companies are not doing very well, it, affect, it affects your investment. So you might go down. But for bonds, you know that no matter what happens, and that's why we say federal government bonds, because you also have corporate bonds, which depends on also how the company, company um, um, performs. But if you go for federal government bonds or other sovereign bonds, yeah. you know that definitely you get your stream of income and you get your capital guaranteed. Thank you. Amazing. Amazing. I think she deserves a round of applause for that. Um, so I'd like you to start preparing your questions because very soon we'll open the floor so you can ask that particular question that is on your mind and we're more than willing to answer them. Um, so she was speaking about the federal government bonds and how the federal government is dedicated and in paying those bonds. It depends on the package that you subscribe to. Um, that leads me to the issue of pension. Uh, most, most jobs, uh, if, you're, if, you're, if you're doing a federal government job or you, there are certain structured institutions that you find yourself in, you see that there's a pension scheme. Um, but for most SMEs, uh, for most you know, small businesses, they do not have any sort of pension scheme. And I, I'm aware that the federal government is, has, done, has put something in place for that. So can you just enlighten us um, on how individuals like us uh, that run small businesses can be part of the pension scheme? Okay. Thank, thank you very much. And um, good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure being here. Um, I was going to um, start by saying how many of us run our own businesses or are in the informal sector? Maybe by a show of hand. Fantastic. Nice. Lovely. I mean, I admire people who run their own businesses because it takes a lot of grit. And again, from everything that Wally said, there's so much support that Stambika IBTC can give you. And also, in supporting SMEs, 
the federal government, like you mentioned, created what is called the micro-pension scheme or the micro-pension plan. Now, for most people in the corporate um, sector, you find that the single largest investment that they have is their pension. And if they did not have that pension, for a lot of them, there are very, very few people that actually have um, financial advisory and do sound investments like both Wumi and Bumi had mentioned. And so that pension then represents the single largest asset that a lot of them have. But a lot of people that run their own businesses, what we find is that they work till they drop. You know, um, they really don't have something like a plan that they can fall back to. The way we say it at Stambik is you need to keep the same energy while you're young and when you get old. And that's what micro pension is doing for people in the SME space. Now, the micro pension plan is for anybody that doesn't work for a corporate. So if you run your own business, you're above 18 and you're Nigerian, then you can subscribe to the micro pension plan. And the plan is very flexible. So you can make contributions at any time. It could be daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, however you want to make those contributions. And there's no specific amount that you can contribute. So what I typically advise for all the people that currently subscribe to our micro pension plan, what they are doing is they are creating a plan for their future. So like a contribution plan. And you know pensions is just one of many investments that you can do. But the beautiful thing about pension is it takes care of you at retirement. Because outside of pensions, you would have other things. You would have other investments like mutual funds, like bonds, like stocks. But pension gives you an income, a steady income at retirement. And that is something that a lot of SME people and a lot of informal sector people are keen into. Because what the micro pension then does is it gives you hope and assures you that you don't necessarily need to work and work and continue working till you drop. You understand? And yeah. that's it, really. Okay, okay. Um, right after the session, I'm very, very much interested in that. Uh, yeah. As, as young people, sometimes we feel like we're going to be young forever. Uh, but yeah, it catches up with all of us. All right, so I hope our questions are getting ready. But before then, I'd like to ask us um, if we are interested in opening an account. Um, there are different types of accounts. So if you're interested in opening any type of account, we have our ushers here uh, that would just guide you through while you quickly do that on your phone. All right? And here's the catch. Uh, for, the first, for the first 10 people that would open an account and subscribe to some of our products, and services, they'll be getting 5,000 Naira. All right? Yes. <laughs> Trust me, 5K is, a, 5K is a lot. You can no. even just, 5K is a lot. 5,000 no. is a lot. <laughs> so please, please, and please, uh, our ushers are just standing by. But of course, even after the session, you can still come to our stand and engage with us and definitely would just guide you through every single thing you need. All right, so um, I'm going to move on to the q and a in the next two minutes but mr wally i really want you to tell me about the fixed deposits and this is a true story um a friend of mine i was having a conversation with him and i told him that oh that uh, i wanted to pay rent as at that time and he was like wait so first of all what bank do you save your money in and what is the interest on that particular money that you're saving in the savings accounts and I said, I mentioned the bank, I mentioned the amount of money that I have and the amount of money I needed to complete my rent. And it was like, if only you had put this particular money in Stambik IBTC Bank, you would have appreciated enough that you do not need extra money, you know, to make up for your rent. So can you tell us more about, you know, the fixed deposit service that Stambik IBTC Bank have? And is there another type of account that you open and it has like a higher interest rates as opposed to other competitors. Thank you. Just before I speak about fixed deposit and other type of deposit, which I will ask even some of my colleagues to give you insight, there's one or two things I wanted to mention about the SME when you ask the question. And if you look at this audience today, you can see most of them are women in the audience. 
And when it comes to SME as well, for, for Stambi KBTC, we have specialized product for women. I think wow. we, do, we should put our hands together for Stambi KBTC. So, that. so that if there's one bank that have specialized in taking care of women, it's Stambi KBTC in that respect. 40% of our capacity building, um, development capacity building, and special clinic actually reserved for women. So wow. if you have a class, 40% of them at any point in time will be women. Number two, when it comes to women, to support women entrepreneurs as well, we have a, a different rate uh, proposition for them. So we give them some special rates for us in order to support them as well. Amazing. So if you are, if you are an SME and you're a woman, there are some conditions that maybe the, the ownership must be women, so they know the, 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 the employees also some must be conditioned around that because we actually want to support entrepreneurs, SMEs, they're actually women, and in order to develop them on their way to prosperity. Amazing. Yeah, when it comes to uh, deposit, like you mentioned, in Stambi Guys, we have a suite of savings products, we have a suite of investment products, we have a suite of fixed deposit, and we pay very attractive rates compared to um, you know, what you find in some other banks and other institutions. But in addition, in across our group and in, in Stambi KBTC, we are an end-to-end -end financial services solution provider and we can have, so why the fixed deposit gives you very good rate as well, though in, within the group, we have, you know, others, other products like mutual funds, you, you know, Bumi has spoken about bonds, we talk about bills, treasury bills and all the other, other products across the group. Some of them are Naira based products, some of them are foreign based products, some of them you may be edge you know, currency devaluation, you want to invest maybe in your future, you're going to school abroad, you know, you, you have the opportunity. And for us in Stambi Guys, what we just tell, especially the young people, we talk about people leading people on their way to prosperity, is that you just have to start, you know. Not starting has robbed a lot of people the opportunity of not making wealth. So for you, you need that bold step to start, you know, and what it needs from you is just an attitude and discipline of regularly investing. What happens is that you don't, you, don't, you don't save what is left after spending. You save and spend what is left after saving. So that's, that's the, you know, if there's one thing I want everyone to take it away from it, that is very important. If you want to build wealth, that has to be a good discipline of regularly saving and keeping your money as, apart, and that actually helps you to build wealth. Maybe I can, Wumi can talk about some of the specific products, but from the bank perspective, we have the fixed product, you can put your money in the, in the savings product, we have some of the chess product where we can, even for your children when they are young and born, you can actually start saving from them, from, even right from the womb, if you can give them a name. You know, <laughs> you know, you start saving for them and that grows and when they actually get to the, the right age, they can take over those savings and those accounts. Okay, amazing. So, so I'm going to hand over to Wumi now so you can tell us more about the products. Yes, yeah, so in addition to the banking products, on the investment side, we have quite a number of um, offerings um, and the principal of it is our mutual funds. And what the mutual funds generally does is that it enables you to sit with the big boys, right? So, <laughs> so with your 1,000, you show up like you have a billion because we're able to pull investors' funds together, aggregate it, and invest it. So aggregating it means we then have better bargaining power. We're also able to diversify that 1,000 naira. So for instance, if you were supposed to go to the equity market with 1,000, maybe you only be able to buy one, one stock. But by the time we put it in a mutual fund, that 1,000 can actually be put behind 50 equities, and that diversifies your portfolio. So we have different mutual funds. We have the ones that are fixed income based, meaning that they are backed by fixed deposits with banks investment in bonds, investment in treasury bills. We also have some that are equity biased, so meaning that the underlying instruments in the portfolio are equities. We also have the dollar fund, like I think it was Wally that mentioned earlier. If you know you have young children that you want to send abroad to school at some point, or you have to go to school, it makes sense to hedge that expense or close that position by investing in foreign currency. So we have the dollar fund. We also assist you to invest in other instruments. On the alternative side um, and if you have a higher risk appetite and for perhaps the more sophisticated investors we have the infrastructure fund um, for which will be coming to the market at some point soon we also have the real estate investment trust as well we we'll continue to look for different investment outlets 
that satisfy customer needs and provide regular returns to them. And we'll continue to bring all of these instruments up from time to time. Thanks. Amazing. Thank you very much. Uh, Bumi? Okay. Um, on the stockbroking side, um, I think you asked the question earlier about the 50,000. I think I just forgot to mention that with as low as zero, you can actually open a stock booking account with Stambik IBTC. And it's one of the things um, you require to have access to more than 100 companies listed on the floor of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Wow. So you see companies like Stambik IBTC Bank. Um, you can participate in the good performance and you can, uh, you can identify like different other companies that you think that are do doing well and you want to be part of their story. So with um, by buying into them or keying into them through the um, Nigerian Stock Exchange, you can be part of that story and you need a stock broker, which Stambik IBTC provides um, that services to you. With zero Naira, just go online and you are able to open your account. Okay, so with 50,000 Naira, I'm really a big boy. Yeah, you really are. And, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll, chill, I'll chill with the big boys, like Wumi said. Fantastic. Um, John, you've already spoken about micro pensions, but. Do you have any other products that you'd like to speak on? Yes, yeah, so outside of the micro pension, you have the regular pension scheme, and within that regular pension scheme, you have the additional voluntary contribution. So earlier when I asked um, for people who run their own businesses, I noticed that some people put down their hands, so I'm assuming that they work for corporates. Now, as outside of mutual funds and fixed deposits, you can also plan for your future and future emergencies by making additional voluntary contributions. And it's pretty simple. And again, there's no limit to how much you can contribute in terms of additional voluntary contributions. But you just give an instruction to your current employer and say, in addition to what you remit as pensions on my behalf, please make this X amount. And why this is critical is because having done this business for a long time, we've realized that a lot of people at retirement, whatever balances they have in their pensions are still not sufficient for them to meet their chosen lifestyle. Which is why, again, we encourage people to do additional savings towards their future because then you are able to then, I mean, chill with the big, big boys, as it were. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Please, a round of applause for our panelists. I think they deserve better than that. All right, so um, you've heard the basics of investments from stocks to bonds. You've heard all of the product that Stambik IBTC Bank has for us. Um, it is now time for us to open up the floor. Please, if I can get an usher with a microphone. So if you just have a question, just raise your hand. I really want personal questions, you know. Just, ah, CEO, it's 10,000 naira that I have. Oh, so what can I do with this 10,000 naira? Oh, when I was trying to do X and Y, X and Y happened. So how can... Stambik IBTC help us, you know, to do better. So if you have any question at all, okay, I think we have, we, we have someone there. So please introduce yourself. And if you can, um, tell us who you're directing the question to. So if you have any of our panelists that you want to ask specifically, we have Wale, we have uh, Wumi, uh, John, and then Bumi. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, Obisile, I'm from South Africa, so I'm not from here yet. Uh, anyone can take the question. I uh, just wanted to get the view. Uh, what's uh, Stanbic IPT's take on non-fungible tokens and Bitcoin? Yeah. <laughs> I, will, I, will, I will answer that. Um, so what we have in Nigeria today and thank you for that question. Um, and it shows the trend of what's happening. And a lot of the, the, the youthful population are also asking that question. But what we have, the central bank has introduced what they call e-Naira. And that e-Naira, it helps you to open a wallet and put money on what they call, it's a, bit, it's a, it's a blockchain platform that helps you to be able to do transaction on, that, on, on, on the wallet. So, and you can do person to person transfer for now. And it's also now been, so currently you do that on the mobile, on the mobile, but also there's a plan to actually do that on, on, um, on, on, the, on, the, on the USSD. And also now you, add, you can also pay 
your merchants, you know, from, from a merchant service perspective, do that. But when it comes to Bitcoin and some other thing, for now, from a, because of the risk associated with it, in currently, based on anti-money laundering, financial crimes, and things that we have seen, is not something that is promoted officially, but the, guy, the opportunity that we have, been, we have been given as a country to be able to do something on the digital currency side is what you have on the e naira side. Thank you very much. I think there was a lady raising of her hand uh, somewhere there. Yeah, please. A lady at the back. I think she was the second to raise her hand. Can we get a mic to her? Okay, thank you very much. My name is Victoria, and I would like to direct this question to Wally. Um, so I see that Stambik has amazing products, pension, stocks, bonds, wonderful. Why should I, you know, make sure that all my investments are in Stambik? Why shouldn't I spread my tentacles to, you know, other available um, banks and all the rest? Thank you. Thank you. Stambik IBTC, we pride ourselves as an end-to-end financial services solution provider. And the many reasons why you must keep your, within our holding company and within the opportunity that you have with, with us, we pride ourselves in many things. And I'll give you, time will not permit me to tell you everything, you know, but I'll just tell you a few things. Number one, in Nigeria today, we are the only financial institution that is AAA rated. Only financial institution. Why are we the only financial institution that's, you know, apart from the fact that investors, analysts, and the specialists, they look at our balance sheet, they look at our capital adequacy ratio, they look at our capability to meet obligations as I went due, they look at our risk profile over time, they look at our shareholders, they look at the funding that we have, and they found out that this bank, from all perspective, is a triple rated. But the one number two, be, behind Stambik IBTC is the biggest financial services institution in Africa, which is the Standard Bank Group. It gives us a lot of, a lot of comfort from the fact that this is an organization that is here for long. For instance, Standard Bank Group is over 160 years old. That organization has seen First World War, Second World War. I don't know what Putin is doing now when I get to Third World War. <laughs> you understand? This is an organization that, and when you talk of innovation, let me take you back to innovation. There's no bank in, in, in Nigeria today that has this. Pepe, robotics. Why is it important for Standard Bank Group? One, we, have seen, we saw first industrial revolution, second industrial revolution, third industrial revolution, fourth, and when you talk of fifth, we are here. And so whatever landscape of changes that you see or innovation, Standard Bank, Standard Bank is here to stay. Beyond that, when you, we are a financial services institution, and across all the elements of our, uh, that we operate, when you come to pension, pension um, uh, services, we are number one by far. In terms of whether you talk of asset under management, whether you talk of the number of contributors, we are, we are number one by far. The last report says that we, are, we have more than 20% of the market share. The second person has only 8%. The third person has less than 8 The fourth person has less than 8 so if you put the three together, they are less than one of us, one of Stambik IBTC. When, when I come to asset management, recently as well, there were a lot of results were released when it comes to the mutual fund on under asset management. Please go and check the results. It's there in the public domain. Massively, we are number one in virtually all the segments of the mutual fund. I can go on and on for you, but so that I can have, give other people to, yeah other people opportunity to ask questions. But it, it just shows that we are stable, reliable, strong financial institution, that when you keep your, across our whole um, ecosystem, if you keep any of your facility with us, any of your money with us, you are sure that for years to come, you are dependable, and we are there for you. Amazing, can we have a resounding round of applause for that? <laughs> well, literally truly brought a gun to a knife, knife fight. <laughs> Like you asked him, he just brought all his bazookas. <laughs> ah, all right, sir. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Mona, and my question is directed to uh, Mr. John. All right, so um, pension, and um, I have a pension account with you guys. 
And of course, every month I get credited. From my office, I see that. From my office, I see that. So my question is, what happens to this money? I mean, wouldn't it be great if it could be invested or something rather than just being kept there? And I, I, I get like every month, I get the alert, I get the buzz. It's still the same, not like it's the same thing, it's just what is being added on top. So my question is, why not just do something with it? Put it in something and then, um, you know, with the money coming in, additional money, of course, coming in. So thank, so, thank you for your question. And um, before, before we leave here today, it's important that you know, we sit down and access your account online on our website, you would realize that the funds are invested, actually. So while you get notices every month, the notification that you see is when your employer makes a contribution. And so that contribution that you see may not change as it were because it's the same contribution that your employer is making unless you have an increase in your salary. But at the end of the quarter, we typically send you your balances. And we have several ways in which you can check your account. And one is you can visit our website. And when you go there, you will see clearly how much returns had accrued on your account. Now, we are aware that just like you, a lot of people are not aware that their funds are actually growing. I mean, I went somewhere the other day and I met a man who had stopped contributing into his pension with us for over seven years wow. because he joined a particular organization and the structure and regulation do not permit that company to make contributions. And at that point, they are just opened up for the company to join us. And so the man just like you had said to us, oh, my money has been there for the last seven years. Nothing extra has entered. I don't know what's happening. And right there, we accessed his account. And he was shocked that the monies in his pension had doubled. So you know what he did? He took me and my team and went canvassing from table to table wow. to get everybody in his company to come and put their pension with us. So part of the problem is information. And so we do a lot of online engagement and we also do physical engagement with a lot of people to just make them aware that their monies are actually growing, they're being invested. And so like I mentioned, we have a stand. So after this session, we can go there. It's very easy to access your pension online. If you go to our website, www.stambicibtcpension.com, you would see an option to log into your account. When you click on it, there is an option that says forgot password. If you click on that, you can then enter either your mobile number, your email address, or your PIN number, which starts with PIN, and then immediately the passcode will be sent to you, and then you can log in. Once you log in, the first thing you would see is the total amount that your employer has contributed for you, and the gains that we have given to you. And you Amazing. will be amazed. I mean, Thank you. Please. 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 Yeah, yeah, let me just add this, especially to people about doing, uh, contributing to their pension as well. There's somebody recently that was applying for a visa. And the person felt, oh, this amount of money I have in my account will not be enough to even show the visa officer that I can, I'm suitable. Then the fact that I will go and come back. I'm not... And I said, oh, but do you have a pension account? The person, yes. And I can tell you, the person thought maybe all this 15,000, 20,000 my employer was paying me monthly amounted to nothing. But the person was having in excess of million. And on the basis of now getting that pension statement and adding it to the application for visa, the person was actually, he was, he was, he was able to get the visa. Wow. Wow. Amazing testimony. Two things. One, the person has money for the future. Two. The person is not jack buying. <laughs> <laughs> the person, the, the, because he could show the, he, he could show the visa officer that look, I have something come that I'm contributing. Home. Come, I'm contributing back to because he's running to millions and millions of naira. Wow, with and, fifteen thousand naira, twenty thousand yeah, naira. Over time, over it, time, it grew to millions. Wow, and, and you know, just yeah. like Wale said, when you access your account online, you can actually spool the statement from that 
you know so you don't necessarily need to even come to us you know for your statement you can do it by yourself and when you're applying for your visas just attach it to it you know all right so we're going to take a couple of online questions let's take two from online and then we'll also take like maybe two physical and let's see if time will permit us to take as many questions as possible all right uh, but before we go to question number one very quickly like in 30 seconds can you explain john what the transfer window is Oh, fantastic. Yeah. So um, right now, it's possible if you're with any other pension provider to make a switch to Stambic IBTC. And it's very, very easy. All you need to do is indicate an interest that you'd like to come to Stambic IBTC, and then we will get our business development managers to come to you, get your details, they'll get your biometrics, and then submit the information to the National Pension Commission. And at the end of the quarter, your funds with whatever provider you belong to would then be moved to Stambic. And why wouldn't you want to move to Stambic after all the things that you heard today? So please take advantage <laughs> of this opportunity. Thank you. Please, let's, let's take out our money from other banks and put it in Stambic <laughs> IPTC Bank. All right. Um, OK, so I'm going to quickly skip Question one, apologies. Can you able elaborate more on the micro pension scheme? Um, I think we've spoken quite extensively on pension, so let me quickly move on to uh, question two. So please, Debbie, Debbie, if you're watching, um, if you, I'm sure that you know our people will be here to attend to you. And if you have any questions, you can just reach out to any of our customer care representatives. Uh, so question two, how do I subscribe to Stambic IBTC bonds? Samuel Okija. Okay, so who wants to take it, Wumi or Bumi? I, I can take it. Okay. Um, so it depends on, so depending on how much you're looking at investing. Um, so there's the government, federal government program. Um, but if you're going all out for the normal um, bonds, then you can go through your relationship manager in the bank or through your account with Stambi IBTC Asset Manager, uh, Management. Um, but just to also say that if you want to invest as low as 5,000 Naira, then you should subscribe through the Stambic IBC bond fund because we actually have a mutual fund portfolio that is just focused on investing in bonds. So if you want to invest a small amount, we have a bond fund in asset management. If you want to invest up to 50,000, you can go through our stop broken entity. Um, if you want to invest significant amount, a very material amount, then you can go through your relationship manager to buy those bonds directly. Um, in your own name. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Um, the next question is, what is the mix of funds that your mutual fund is made up? Thanks for the enlightening session. Mobolaji Adesino. Um, so our mutual funds, it would depend on the mutual fund you want, you're interested in. And of course, that would depend on your risk appetite and your investment objective. So for instance, if you want to invest in equities, then that mutual fund is invested in equities. Again, we are very cautious about our risk management approach to investing. Um, we have our preferred stocks that are listed on the floors of the exchange. So we've already selected all of those using all of this approach. And then, of course, you can come in. The mix is optimal for the sort of risk that we think that that portfolio should have. Now, if you're interested in money markets, we also have a money market fund that is basically invests in short-term instruments. So again, it's a lot of offerings, a lot of options available. Whatever it is that we then choose for you will be dependent on your objective, your risk appetite, and of course, we can then find something for you. We have the bond fund as well that has different instruments in foreign currency. Thank you. Thank you. So let's take a couple of questions from the. Okay, good um, morning. My name is Yemi Oludemo, and I want to, from the last two questions that the lady asked on investment purpose. Okay, I know of a invest, um, real estate industry that does buy to sell. So you can drop a amount of money and get 40% either within six months, within 12 months, or within three months. So you get 40% within 12 months, you get 17.5% um, within three months, and within six months, you get 30% of it. So I wanted to portray the difference between me investing into that real estate. I like, so what you, how you get your money back is the amount of money, the money has generated. You, you get the money, they just want to use the money to clear the site. 
So in many cases, they increase the money. You are getting the interest of how much you're selling that property. So now, you're talking on investment in Stambix, and I want to know the difference between having a fixed deposit with you or how long... I know your fixed deposit does not go more than 5% or 10%, because I've done fixed deposits with Union Bank, I withdraw. I've done fixed deposits with JTB Bank, I withdraw. And I'm into real estate, and I know what I get when I invest in real estate. So I want to know what's the benefit of me investing into your Stambix Bank. And, and also, you <laughs> inserted an advert over there. <laughs> you just told us. So it's even your business. It said, oh, X, Y, Z. But I understand what she's saying. Who wants to take the question? I will, I will, I will go for it. Okay. Um, number one, so you've tried Union, GT, then you, know, you need to come to the proper bank. <laughs> <laughs> Please bring your money where you have not just a fixed deposit, we have suit of products. And for the past one, I will be showing you. And we've shown you also in terms of, you know, ability to pay into perpetuity and the organization that will be here to stay. The Islamic IBTC, that one gives you the guarantee, number one. Number two, what you are doing is based on your risk appetite. And our advice to you, and that's why we have put Islamic IBTC, that's why we've come with this suit of product, that in, within our own suit of product, you should be able to find matching fund that can help you get some very decent reason that will fit your risk appetite. What you are doing is maybe you are dealing with organizations that are unlisted, you are doing something with, you know, where maybe the guarantees that you are going to get, the exposure you are going to give yourself into, and even where contracts and agreement maybe cannot be supported in the long run. We've seen this example. Aero talk about MMM. You know, people that you put one million, you want to get 10 million in six months. You know, here today, gone tomorrow. And if somebody has a question about cryptocurrency. We've seen what has happened in the last six months. In some people, they've had some fun, they rode the curve, and they got, but most people got burned. So, for that's why we'll tell you put your money in a legalized institution that you know that can, and we have in, in no suit of product. We gave the example, even putting your money in pension. People that put 15,000 monthly, they, in, in years to come, you just discover that this thing has grown substantially, whether it's mutual fund as well. So there are opportunities within our own ecosystem, our product that you can put. That one, your, you know, your, your risk appetite may be at 100%, and you may decide to take that type of risk. But the, yes, investing in real estate is an opportunity there. Just to tell you as an institution as well, if you want to take a real a mortgage finance to actually buy property, we definitely will support you as well. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I think let's, let's take the question from the man the, the, uh, over there. Um, I know that this session will not be enough to exhaust all of the questions. So once we end, you can just, we'll, we'll be, we're here for you. Any question you have, you can come and you ask us and we'll answer it. All right. My concern is about the inflation rates. How can you assure me that keeping my money in your bank or any other bank will not reduce the value of that money over a period of time. Because mm -hmm. there are other means of investment, like she said, real estate, other means. So what is the assurance that my money will not be devalued over the years? OK, so the uh, inflation will certainly affect your money. So I guess there's nothing you can do. So if you leave your funds in a normal bank account, of course, value will be eroded. So what we're going to advise you to do is to put that money to flight, which, is mean, which means you should find investment outlets for that money. Of course, ultimately, whichever way you look at it, you're still going to have your transactional money that you're going to leave in your bank account. Because you're going to pay your bills, you're going to do stuff, and you're going to have um, obligations that will be falling due every now and then. But for the purpose of that amount you want to set aside as investment, our, object, our expectation is that you put it in instruments that would outperform inflation. And there are quite a number of them on, in our bouquet. So for instance, the dollar fund um, is, a dollar f is in foreign currency. Um, you can, what you're doing is that you're shielding yourself from Naira inflation and perhaps only exposing yourself to the dollar inflation. And we know where US inflation rates are at. Um, so that's sort of how we would say you should approach it. We will also ask that perhaps you buy long-dated instruments um, at the right time. So for instance, if you go into the bond 
fund or you buy a bond at 15, 16 percent, you're probably shielded from inflation because we know where inflation has been for the last five to ten years. So it, that's really the approach. Equities are also very good, but I also would not recommend that you just invest in equities without having clarity on the companies you should be investing in. So you should speak with a professional. Um, that way, you're, ex you're investing in companies that are actually growing as well. And that way, you can also shield yourself from inflation. Thank All you. right. Thank you very much. Please, a round of applause for Wumi. And with that, we've come to the end of this session. It's been really enlightening. Um, personally, I feel so fulfilled because now I know where I'm going to put my money in because God has started blessing me, you know? And I need to push some of that money and make sure that I multiply wealth. Um, yeah, so in summary, just know that investment is a habit. Um, it's a lifestyle. It's not just something you do one time and then you abandon it. I'm, I'm pretty sure that our professionals here have enlightened us so much. And now we have better information. We have a wealth of information. And don't forget, you can still visit us at our Stambic IBTC Bank immediately after this session. We'll attend to you, um, engage with us. If you're interested in any of our products, you can come and we will definitely attend to you. Thank you so very much uh, for being here. And please, can we give you a resounding round of applause for all our panelists? Thank you, thank you, thank you. And to close this session, I would like to call Bolanli, Bolanli Pepedem, our robots. So Bolanli would close this session. Wow, it has been an exciting discussion with lots of insights shared on how to invest and create sustainable wealth even with minimal funds. We use this medium to appreciate all our speakers and the audience. To all who joined the session virtually, we say thank you. We would love to still interact and engage with you. Please meet us at the Stanbic IBTC exhibition booth to ask your questions and you can take a selfie with me. Don't forget to join our masterclass session tomorrow where we will be discussing business financing for young entrepreneur. Come and get insights on how to grow and scale your small business. We will be expecting you. Before you leave, I would like to play a saxophone and show you some dance moves. Thank you, everyone. And thank you, Bolanli. Please, a round of applause for Bolanli. <laughs> thank you, everyone. The session is over. Sammy, do you remember that my friend? Who? Uh, Chike. The photographer? Yes, exactly, him. Yeah. You won't believe what happened to him last week. Oh, my. He had a late night photo shoot. On leaving the photo shoot location, boom, he got robbed by some area boys. They took his phones, his cameras, lenses, his laptop, everything. Oh, my goodness. This is crazy. Those cameras and lenses are so expensive. Jeez. They literally took away his livelihood. You would think so. But apparently he had insured everything. His gadgets, work tools, and even his car. You can insure your personal belongings. Apparently so. His insurance brokers had advised him on this. <laughs> Just on time. Get sound insurance advice from our professionals and stay updated with competitive insurance quotes.
Sammy, wait. How am I really turning 27 next week? This whole thing feels like a dream. I mean, wasn't it just like yesterday we graduated from uni and now Amaka is married with two kids? Mike is having his third kid. Um, <laughs> I feel so unprepared about life and this whole thing called adulting. You know what's the worst? I've been planning to travel abroad for my masters for like three years now. But man, there's no funds. Uh-uh, easy. But what do you mean you don't have funds? How? You're a manager now. See, babe, that's a story for another day. See, eh? I'm totally freaking out about my future here. Will things ever get certain and clearer? I mean, seriously, will I ever be able to get all the funds I need? To invest enough? Save enough? To, to, to retire at the age of 40 like we all planned? Oh, God. Okay, easy. You have to calm down. Breathe. This sounds like an early life crisis. I think things will work out just fine. For starters, you have a good job. Shebi, we have pensions accounts. And we're even doing more by putting out voluntary contributions monthly. Oh, yeah, that. I totally forgot about this. <laughs> you see, at least you're making solid plans for your longest holiday. So, cheers to a freer and more fulfilling post-active work life full of endless possibilities. Phew, I'm completely relieved. Project Retire at 40 continues. <laughs> Start planning for your future today with Stambic IBCC Pension Managers. Join over 1.8 million users who are planning their future right with Stambic IBTC Pension Managers. For more information, visit www.stambicibtcpension.com or send an email to pensionsolution at stambicibtc.com. You may also call 01-271-6000 or visit any Stambic IBTC Bank branch in Nigeria.